welcome back to my channel. So the plan for today is I'm going to try to write 10,000 words. I haven't had a 10K day in a while, and honestly, I would love to try in the next two days to hit 20K. So I have two back-to-back -back days where I write 10,000 words each day. And I'm kind of hoping to break it up. Like I write 5,000 words in the morning, maybe take a break, go for a walk, get away from my desk, get outside, move my body, and then come back and write another 5,000 words. So I don't need to go this hard and write 20,000 words in the next two days, but I'm feeling that momentum and looking ahead to my calendar, life is about to get really crazy in the next couple months and I have deadlines that I need to hit and I don't wanna get into that position where I'm super stressed, I'm really pressured to hit deadlines and the words and the quality of the story suffers. I've been in a really good writing groove and I just want to kind of keep that going so that there's some consistency to the story and I just think if I really push hard for two days sometimes that works better for me to kind of get over the hurdle and then I can see the finish line and again this is just the first draft so I will come back and edit and finesse everything but I'm really kind of excited to see this story take shape the good thing is I did a lot of work at the front end outlining this book I know exactly what is happening in each chapter I have all of my scenes each character's kind of plots the subplots already I have them on cue cards. So I like that today I know exactly which chapters I'm writing. I know what's supposed to happen. That gives me a little bit of ease in that I'm not having to kind of create something from nothing. I just need to not get overwhelmed and just focus on each chapter that I want to write. But yeah, so when I write kind of every other responsibility falls to the wayside. I just have to laser focus and it's such a good feeling afterwards because I do find if I get distracted of like leaving the writing for a couple days and then coming back it takes that much longer to get into the story and i just want to keep this momentum going i'm really really invested in the book and i just want to make it the best possible story that it can be and it will be i can see the finish line and i just want to get there so that i can start finessing and we can move it through the writing and publishing process it's gonna be a late night so i'll check in sporadically when i can I'm all cozy. It's probably like the worst way to show you, but I also have these crazy leggings. It's cold outside and I just wanna be cozy while I write. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for this writing vlog. Hopefully I can get some good footage. I'll do my best to periodically check in with you, keep you updated on how it's going, but it's really just gonna be me in my office. I'm about to light my candle because that's always the signal to my brain, kind of like Pavlov's dog, that it's time to start a writing session. Mm, what else? All right, let's do this. Keyboard. As you can see, a lot of the letters have been rubbed off from years of just typing away on it. But look, I think I even got some nail polish on there. Pretty sad state, but I love this keyboard. It's Bluetooth, wireless. It's pretty sad that a lot of home row is uh, rubbed off there. 
Okay, it's a few hours later and I haven't hit 5K words yet. I'm very close. I'm at 3,489 words for this session. So yeah, that's just a quick update. We gotta keep going. I'm gonna go get a snack, get some more water and keep at it. One eternity later. This is my dinner. We had a frozen pizza, so we just stuck it in and then added our own banana peppers on top. I poured myself a little glass of wine, got the soda stream going. I'm so close to hitting 10,000. My brain is entering the mush phase. My eyes are getting tired from staring at the screen, so plan right now is I'm gonna have a little bit of a dinner break, and then hopefully by 8 p.m. I can hit that 10,000 word target that I've been hoping for. One hour later. Hi, Bjorni, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh, I look so tired because I am. Oh, my hair, my hair is literally slicked to my head. Oh my God. The time currently is, let me check, 8.36. And we have hit 10,167 words for today's writing session. That is one of the single biggest word counts I've hit in a day. Let me just show you quickly. There we go, that is the words. So there's not a lot going on up in my brain right now. I'm gonna go do my skincare routine, put my pajamas on, crawl into bed, probably read one or two chapters of a book. I don't think I could read any more, but it always helps me fall asleep. And then try to get up, I think I'm gonna try to get up at 6.30 tomorrow morning um, and do it all again and hopefully write another 10,000 words. So wish me luck. I'm sorry, oh my gosh, I literally cannot show up your way. Good night. First things first, I can't really show you too much, but this is my book binder. And hiding that tab. But as you can see, kind of like these are the tabs along the side. I have my word count tracker. Under outline, I just have some kind of like notes. Good morning, it's a new day. It is freezing again, snowy, but I am ready to hit another 10,000 word count day on my current manuscript, got my coffee. And what I do to kind of kick off a writing session, get me in the mood, because really the bit most important thing is just starting. You won't always feel motivated, but it just go slow, do the next little thing, sit your butt in the chair, open the Word document. And I kind of follow the Neil Gaiman way of doing a writing session where I can do two things. I can either sit here, stare at the window, stare at the wall, or I can write. I can't go on social media, I can't check my email, I can't do anything else. And eventually kind of staring at the window or looking at the wall gets to be pretty boring. And the better alternative is opening my Word document, reviewing my notes, and starting to write. So I find that very helpful and useful, maybe you will too, because it's normal to not always be motivated, but it's really about discipline and continuing to follow through with that routine and that habit, and that's how you really strengthen your writing muscle. I'm a little sleepy, but the first thing I do is review my notes from yesterday's session in my binder. I also keep a notebook and every day I just keep track of what I got done that day, what I hope to get done, how I felt about the writing session, just kind of like a one pager in my notebook. And then I'll review the cue cards for the upcoming chapters that I have to write. I just kind of get back into that zone. I try not to reread too much of what I did yesterday because I can get really self-critical and try to rewrite everything and that's not the point of this first draft of the manuscript i just want to get to the end so i'm reminding myself that it doesn't have to be perfect i just have to keep going keep getting through to hit that word count i can always come back and edit so this is the website that i use it's free it's just pomofocus.io or just search for pomodoro timer online and this is what it looks like and you work in 25 minute sprints and then you get a short break and a long break. 
So here I'm gonna write in the task and you just get to, it says, what are you working on? So you can put in any task you want, but for my writing session today, because I wanna hit 10,000 words, this is how I've decided to do it. This is total is 10,000 words that I've put here. We'll see, it might take me longer, it might take me shorter, depending on how fast the words are flowing or maybe I'll get stuck or have to do some research or something to get through a scene, so it might take me longer. But what I love, if you go down here, it estimates that I will finish this at 7 p.m. tonight. That's including all of the different breaks and stuff that it structures in. So we'll see. I have a feeling it's gonna be a late night. I'm gonna try maybe to go for a walk to break up the day, get my body moving. I didn't really exercise a lot yesterday and I felt it and I feel groggy today. So wish me luck. Here we go. Time for a little snack and some tea. So sunny out. but it's snowing like crazy outside. Just having a quick little lunch break as I continue to work. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, it's a new day. I'm still pretty greasy. I think I'm just gonna move writing locations. I've been in my office 